Hey Aquarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Happy uh, Saturday. I think this will go up on Saturday. I hope y'all are enjoying your weekend thus far. Aquarius, take from this reading what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the roles if you need to. Y'all know the spill, all right? Don't try to force anything to fit. Use your own discernment. It could be past, present, future, or someone else around you. I'm picking up one. Let me just tell you this, Aquarius. About four or five times that I was, you know, while I was setting your cards up, this high priestess kept falling. She just kept falling and I can't ignore her any longer. She wanted to make her presence known. So I have to pick up on this energy. Some of you, there is another feminine. I think um, you may be aware of her. You may not be aware. I don't know. If you don't know about her, you're about to find out about her. Could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces. There's a secret relationship someone is carrying on. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, a King of Cups. If it's not a Scorpio, this is a masculine, 40 years of age or older. They could be older than you or maybe younger. I don't know. This is someone who definitely will fit into that age bracket, you know, even though I didn't give you an ending, but 40 and up. So and up. <laughs> okay. So that's open-ended. But yeah, this is someone who um it's coming across to me as a person who's pretending at least to be committed. Okay. Um, I can't help but notice that this particular King of Cups, unlike I don't think any other deck that I have, is like this. He's facing the, to the side a little bit. And I'm uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable when I look at this card. He looks uncomfortable because nobody sits like that, right? You would just turn the chair. The chair is facing forward which means there was like maybe some intentions or some conversation or an expectation that he would, you know, be a forward facing upstanding person, but he's turned to the side a little bit and he's turned to the future. Like maybe he got caught up in something else that he's a bit interested in investing in, you know, is what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm, 2-11. Some of you could be born on February 11th. Or well, this person could be born on February 11th if it's not a Scorpio. But there's definitely a mistress here. There's a feminine energy here. Your overall energy is the king of swords. Some of you are finding out the truth or you already know the truth of this person. This is Aquarius energy. This is you. You're growing up though. You're maturing. Whatever it is that's going on around you, you sense it. You feel it. You're intuitive with the high priestess being here. You can sense that you are very highly intuitive. And the King of Cups is highly intuitive. You're being logical. You're being reasonable uh, using rationale. Okay. So you feel this. You sense this. You know this. If you don't know it, it's coming. It says a short journey, meaning you're close to finding out about this. There's a younger man here. It says dealings or relationships with a younger man. This could be someone coming in. Okay. This feels like an offer or... A gift from someone, maybe someone recently gifted you with something or thinking about doing so. Doesn't feel like it's major. They don't feel like they maybe have a lot to offer, but this is a very loyal person. So this would not be the same King of Cups energy. This is someone else. This could be a dark skinned, um, younger Taurus Virgo Capricorn for some of you. It is possible this person has long hair. They could be like Native American or some kind of indigenous person because that's the look I feel I'm getting from both of these cards with the hair being so long for a boy. They can have locks. I don't know. <laughs> we have happiness here, which is the sun. But someone wants to block you from the sun. This could be a Gemini. Someone wants to keep you caged. They want to keep you stuck. Okay. Overwhelmed, overthinking, fearful, and negative thoughts. It could be a Gemini. Um, this is a, feel, a person you don't have any feelings for anymore. It's a number eight. Eights are unemotional. Okay. Eights are very logical. So this, this is definitely someone in their head or having you in your head, keeping you in your head. Maybe someone with a criminal history. Could have been in jail, could be in jail right now. They could be facing jail time. This could be the judge. Let's see what's going on. What's the short journey with the high priest? There's something you're about to find out or have recently found out i feel like you know the truth or you at least sense it we have florida water wow who just got this capricorn some of you on the capricorn aquarius cusp this is about banishing negative energy and their reading was all about yeah like somebody being pregnant like you know being in a relationship with someone who 
was going through like a um, paternity issue, a paternity case battle with someone. A very toxic feminine. We have go. Yeah, it's time to go. You know this. You already know this. Epigene epigenetics, you can break the cycle at any time. Your behavior and environment cannot change the fact that you carry the DNA of the most high. Never forget who you are. So look, you are highly intuitive, okay? Um, you have hidden knowledge with inside of yourself, okay? You hold that book of secrets, the Torah, in your hand, okay? Which means that... You have a lot of spiritual gifts. The initials B or J could be significant. First name, last name, nickname, pet name. I don't know. Like a Billy Joel, like BJ. Okay. Somebody could have secretly gotten a BJ from somebody. I am. I don't mean to be vulgar, but I mean, you know, my intuition when it tells me to say stuff, I have to say it. Yeah, this is definitely you moving away from this person and trying to protect, cleanse your energy. You need to whether it's sage or essential oils or whatever you're into, however you do it. If you are Christian and you have a Christian way of doing it, do that. People put salt down all around their home, whatever you need to do. But, you you know, this cannot be denied that you are connected to the Most High. You're coming out as a spiritualist with the high priestess. Some of you are into divination. You got the Page of Pentacles and the high priestess side by side. So some of you, and, and then the King of Cups. Psychic, intuitives, divination, uh, tarot readers, you're into that. Even if it's just that you watch a lot of it. We have entrapment here at the bottom of the deck. Setting a trap to catch someone in the act. I told you someone wants to keep you stuck. They're trying to bait you. Don't like it. Show me this younger man. Who's this younger man? I feel like this is someone coming. We have restoration. They're coming to restore your faith in relationships. This could just be a friend. It doesn't have to be a love situation. It's not, you know, the page of pentacles is not emotional. So it could just be a friend, someone you work with or something. We have, we don't, we don't hold grudges. Grudges hold us. They hold us back down and hostage. Let it go, whatever it is. See, I told you somebody's trying to hold you down here. This person is holding a grudge. This past person is holding a grudge. It's not this new person. It's not you. They are holding a grudge. And if it is, you let it go. Is what spirit is saying. Let's get one more from this deck. They don't have the authority over or access to you. Every attempt they make to attack you will continue to fail. Taurus got this card. You could be connected to a Taurus. Page of Pentacles is Taurus energy. Um, or you have Taurus placements in your chart. Pointing fingers. They don't want to even accept responsibility. They blame you for everything, even though they did this to the relationship. Let's look at happiness. Someone trying to keep you from being happy. What is that all about? Good riddance. <laughs> somebody that you don't want anything to do with anymore you want them to just go i just hear just go go it's right here you just want them to go it's a foe somebody that you don't see as a friend anymore a lover anymore there's no chance of reconciling you're moving forward building new friendships with loyal people that's what, what matters to you you can't sit with us see excluded discriminatory selective invite only cutting off the weakest link you can't make it up bottom of the deck let me cater to your every need you deserve to be treated like a king or a queen somebody else got this oh was it cancer it may have been cancer i want to give you the world that's why i'm working so hard so some of you have a hard working person who wants to share it could be a younger earth sign it could be at the beginning stages of their career maybe don't have a lot to offer but they'll share whatever they do have okay and those are your messages. We're going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.